Hi everyone. It's Milo and Dakota. I got a, a gimbal which I am learning how to use. So I we hope you're patient with me because these vlogs are not going to be perfect. It moves unexpectedly. Sometimes it has a mind of its own. Right now it's wiggling and wiggling. Okay. <laughs> um, I got the needles today to root Dakota's hair. And so I'm going to be trying that. We'll see how it, how it goes. Uh, yeah. Milo. Say hi, Milo. Yeah. Milo, are you a good boy? Hey, what you doing? <laughs> oh, I've been watching the news too much. There's just, there's so much sadness. I don't know, I don't know if it's because everybody is is taping more and videoing more there just seems like there's so much distress in the world today there's a case right now uh sydney powell she she really um she she killed her her mom and that she was having a schizophrenic episode and i really understand that so many people we're calling her a spoiled brat. It's funny how we sometimes go for the easiest explanation so that we can understand what's going on. But schizophrenia is a part of my family and it's a very insidious disease mental disease that it's hard for people to understand and presents usually in the late teens 19 20 and the person can have a psychotic episode which I think that's what Sydney had was a psychotic episode the the close relative that I had that had that presented at the age of 19 with a psychotic break. And it's just really hard for people that have never been around it to understand. Sydney was having auditory and visual hallucinations which are both very common. 
with the onset of paranoid schizophrenia. The psychologist that was discussing Sydney in the courtroom today did it, I don't know, he had a hard time explaining it. I'm not sure. I hope he, I hope that the jury can understand what he was trying to convey. Because one of the main things that people need is medication. And they need a, a proper, uh, a, a proper dosage and, and there are many different medications that are used. Sometimes different combinations work better than others. But I'm so familiar with all the signs that she had. So familiar. So. Anyway, I. That's just one case today that. That kind of triggered me. Uh. Because it was a trauma that was very, very close to me growing up. I just wish that people wouldn't jump to judgments like spoil brat or privileged. You know, it, these are very complex issues that require real good examination and investigation before you, before you can before you can understand. So I hope the next time I pick up the camera, um, I will be able to show you some actual hair on Dakota. And I'll be picking up the camera again in the next few days. Please come and visit. Bye for now.